Okay. All right, Sean with Sling and Ink here. We are with the band Bless the Fall. I actually had the pleasure of meeting these guys back at the Cool Tour, but was unable to do an interview. We finally got them here. Here we are. Okay. It's not very often you can catch all, all of us in one place. Oh, wow. It never happens. <laughs> you guys just want to go around real quick, give your name and what you do in the band? Yep, I'm Mike. I play guitar. I'm Eric. I also play guitar. <laughs> I'm Bo and I sing and I sometimes play Matt's drums when he's not with me. I'm Matt, I play drums. <laughs> I'm Jared, I play bass and I do vocals. Now, <laughs> I do the vocals. That's all, of them. all of them. All of them. Yeah. Now, your band name, Bless the Fall, what's the meaning behind it? <laughs> Basically, um, we're just a really positive band and we just like to pick people up with our lyrics and stuff, so kind of bless them in their need. You know? Now your current album, Witness, uh, what is the inspiration behind that? LeBron James. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all, I, I hated LeBron James so much I stole his slogan, um, Witness. No, it's just, you know, like Witness, uh, you know, a need for change. And you know, it was like I came into the band and we used like the butterfly symbol to kind of like rebirth. You know, rebirth, yeah, and you know, we got a whole new thing going here and, and it's good. So, you know, it's just Witness, it's one word that says it. A million things. So. Yeah, that album is definitely amazing. Like I said, my my four year old over here, Clover, she loves you guys. Yeah. And every yeah, time she hears I, your guys' song, especially base. "Hey Baby," she says, "Turn it up." If, if That's so up. awesome. If she, if we don't hear her say, you know, turn it up, she yells at us. Like, this is my favorite band. Turn it up. That is so yeah. sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And uh, I just checked out your new mini video movie uh, for, for Hey Baby. Uh -huh. That was freaking hilarious. You like that? <laughs> Who came up with the idea behind that? Um, our director did. Um, he sent us like a, a, an edit, and it was kind of like very, very over the top, which is kind of what we wanted to go for. But we kind of like toned it down. I mean, that's toning it down. But we wanted. I mean, it was our our idea to have a cool. Like epic long movie, yeah. like funny, like '90s comedies, you know, spin-off kind of spoof thing on like Hangover and all that stuff. And then it was his, you know, he put the whole treatment together. So we just put our heads together and came up with something really cool. And Made it fun. cheesy to be funny. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> People were like, "This is so cheesy." We're like, "Yes, I know." No. <laughs> we obviously planned that out. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, it was yeah. definitely good. That's Thanks, cool. man. Definitely loves it. Audience liked it. Uh, this one goes back a little bit. If you guys don't want to answer, you can say skip it. Um, this is when Craig was in the band and he left and he tried to come back. What was basically the story behind that? And now with him being in Escape the Fate, is there any resentment between Bless the Fall and Escape the Fate? No, actually, uh, we're better friends now with Craig now that we don't have, like, you know, like a business relationship anymore. He's, like, not, you know, we just clash with ideas and the focus of the band. But um, now that we both parted ways and He's successful doing his own thing. We're successful doing our own thing. We're actually better friends now. So uh, I would, and I would how long did it take you guys to replace Craig with both? Uh, ah, it took oh, eight months or something. Eight months. Right? <laughs> way too long. It took way too long. We yeah. were. Where were you? We we Dude. were. <laughs> <laughs> Things I found out about it right when it happened. Like my roommate works for the record label, and uh, she's like, "Go shout out for him." Like I had an old band, and like I mean, we weren't doing very well either. So while they were looking for a singer, my band was gonna like this like deeper and deeper like just like getting ready to break up and it was like perfect timing when I wrote them because they were like at the end it was the last straw yeah at the end of the rope and last straw and like I was kind of the same thing I was like you know in a really crappy place and I just had nothing and I was like this could be really fun you know like they seem like rad dudes and yeah, you're definitely just a, a very good addition to it you definitely make bless the fall you know especially with the vocal fans Thanks, man. That's awesome. I think it's a lot better than you would be. It's fun, you know. It's it's. I, I got really lucky, and we all we all have fun doing what we're doing. So. And on uh, Punk Goes Classic Rock, how was it covering Aerosmith's Dream On? And uh, did you guys pick that song out? It was a challenge. Doing uh, Aerosmith is not exactly the easiest cover in the world, but we got to uh, do it with our buddy um, Chris, bass player, and Samson, and our tour manager Ken. Help us out too, and uh, it was cool. It was like experimental. It was something you know we didn't want to do like the same old like dance beat breakdown like cover that most of that record probably was or yeah it's any like, of the fearless things. It was cool just to kind of like take it to like a more emotional, deeper kind of level, you know. And it, you know, I think it came out pretty cool. I hung scars off the microphone just to like yeah. get in touch with uh, to get his dream on note. My Steven Tyler that last note. Now, do you guys have any crazy fan or crazy tour stories you'd like to share? Uh, 
I don't know. The other day, Matt tried to jump out of the van while we were driving. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think these kids are stalking us outside. <laughs> yeah, I think there's kids that, like, every time we come here, um, they're, they, like, spend the night here, and they, like, run up to our van, and then, like, last time they got in the they van, got, they just, like, opened the door raining. and just sat in, and we're all like, like, oh, hey, guys! And we're like, hi! And then we just got in the van, and it was kind of weird. Do you imagine someone just got in your car and just started talking to you, like, Hey, hey man, kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. what's going on? It's personal yeah. space, but uh, what's going on? How are you doing? Yeah, I love the 13. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we, we took it like champs. We were just like, we hung out with them. It was cool. Nice kids. Yeah. And uh, how does it feel to be a part of one of the top indie labels like Fearless, and how did you guys you know, end up getting signed to Fearless? Um, it was kind of, I think our old manager had a really good relationship with Bob, and uh, yeah, we were on this old label called Science, and um, they would always, you know, they'd always compare, like, bands and stuff, and, you know, we were always being, like, compared to, like, some bands on their label, so they were always talking, and then, you know, Bob was really good friends with our manager, so, you know, our manager was talking to Bob about everything the entire time, like, where everything was going, and, you know, he'd always, like, kind of throw it out there, he's like, man, I'd love to take him, I'd love to take him, and, you know, once we finally kind of sat down and looked at the deal and realized, you know, we met the team and everything, we realized how awesome they were, you know, it, uh, it turned out being awesome, just, they, you know, they're family over there. You know, they, they all have the same goals as us. They don't push us around at all. Like they Yeah, we actually work. just did the Fearless Friends tour. Uh, oh, with Mayday? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that, that tour awesome. seemed like it was awesome killing guys. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. It's, they're, it's just a really, like, band-friendly label. They yeah, just, you know, they're you open to everyone's ideas. And, you, you know, could they walk in and them at like, any time. Yeah. Day. Any one of us could walk in through the front door. We would kayak. And see, yeah, like, we one time go. we kayaked with, like, with uh, Brandon from Alaska and couple of us and, and it's right they're right on the water so we came up and docked our kayaks and went in our board shorts and just walked up into yeah. the office and went, they were like what, like, are, you, went what are you guys doing and went I know they're right. they all stopped what they were doing and hung out with us and it was yeah. great so it was a water bottle um, now you guys are labeled under Christian post hardcore um, how does it make you feel that you have you know Christian followers as well as non-Christian followers. What was that new genre we came up with? That was awesome core. <laughs> awesome core. Awesome yeah. Yeah. Is the new one that we're like the new genre that um, we're going to go with. But um, we're so we're stoked that uh, that you know anyone can can um, take a positive message from our, our music, Christian or not Christian. You know, um, we played we played you know we've been on Christian tours, we've been on like you know like cool tour where we're on like two Christian bands, you know essentially, and we're playing after a case strain. Yeah. So you know that's 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 where we are. Like literally, we're like right in the middle. Of, like so that made yeah, sense. Yeah, we actually got some killer live shots of you guys. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Awesome. But um, at the end so of the day, we're just delivering yeah. a positive message. Yeah. I think, and um, you know, we're not trying to like seclude ourselves to just Christians, but I think anyone that can just look for something positive, you know, that's who we're trying to reach out to. So. Yeah. And last but not least, uh, what can your fans expect? You got more touring going on, a new album, any side projects? What does the future hold for you guys? <laughs> Lots of stuff. <laughs> um, I know you guys have been touring like crazy. Yeah, yeah. we've been touring like non-stop now, right? Summer. It's Dude. a little beat. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we're we're all gonna take a break. A yeah, we're, December's we're, gonna be a nice break for us. Yeah, I think we yeah. love touring so much, but you know, um, at, at some point you need just a little bit of time off to kind of regroup and. You know, just get in touch with friends and family, and, and get in, get your head in the right place, and start writing some good, you know, some more music. You know, it's hard to focus when you're out on the road, but um, you know, we're getting to the end of the tour, and we're all tired, but we're we're super stoked, like that. It's been such a good like couple starting of years, you know. So. Starting in January, we're starting to write for the new album, and uh, we're looking to go yeah. in the studio around April and May. So hopefully, we'll have a early fall. Release. So that's what that's what we're planning on. We got a name for this? Uh, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not maybe yet. lots of shredding. It's maybe a drum More solo. More shreds. Maybe maybe, maybe a, a whole solo. drum solo. <laughs> maybe an acapella solo. Do you think drum solos on albums? No. I can't. Well, I think we might be like the first, you're the first me, band. Maybe. We might be the first band. Smarter. in our but, uh, <laughs> Other than that, we're doing Soundwave, and uh, we're doing a festival called uh, Scream, Out Scream Out Fest. Fest in Japan. So that should be cool. So, um, and hopefully we're trying to get up to uh, Alaska as well. But that's all the touring we're getting yeah. in about February, I think. But on that, we're just going to focus on riding and uh, just hang out, just relax a little bit. Enjoy, Enjoy the holiday season. Sweet. Yeah, so. it's going to be cool. Nice. I definitely thank you guys for taking the time for interviewing with us. Uh, sorry we didn't get to do it on the cool tour, but at no. least now we get to rad, yeah. you know, get you yeah. your own thing instead of being part of the cool tour. Yeah, yeah. sweet. It's perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys thank a lot. You so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you.